back, guys. It's your buddy David from Car Speed again. And uh, I appreciate you guys clicking on this video. You have chosen wisely. Um, today, we are going to dive a deeper into front end geometry and we're going to talk about camber. So, <clears throat> before I do, I know what you guys are probably thinking, maybe even mumbling to yourself. I don't even know why I'm watching this video. Car racing is a tire game. You know, I set my stuff and I leave it. And, you know, I just find the right tire and I can win races. And I'm not going to argue that fact with you. Car racing is a tire game. But let's say for argument's sake that the, the best tire in your, in your trailer on, on a given race night is his top speed is 80 miles an hour. Well, if you have a bad chassis setup and your tire is not getting loaded properly because your front end geometry is off, then your your the most speed you can get out of that tire that night might only be 65 miles an hour. But if your chassis setup is correct, the front end geometry is right on it, and the go kart is loading the tires correctly through the turn, and you're using the right amount of tire patch, then you can get all 80. You know, because I'm, we've all been there, right? We've all been, you know, at the racetrack thinking we got our best tire on the go-kart. You know, you walk into the grid and your tire man, your driver, got a little swagger to you, right? Because you're feeling good because you, in your head, you know, this thing is about to roll. You can feel that, that, that prize money in your back pocket and you're feeling good. Only to get out there to find out that your best tire was still a tenth and a half, two tenths off. And this video is is aimed towards helping you adjust the chassis to maybe finding the two tenths that you were off. Maybe adjusting the front end geometry, the camber, and, and loading the tires correctly and using the right amount of tire patch that helps find that extra little mm, that extra little something. So when you come off the racetrack, you feel good because I personally, I'm here to help you. I don't want you coming off the racetrack and having your competitors and your friends talk to you like this. Oh, look at him, fellas. <laughs> you crying, boy? You crying, boy? Maybe we'll go back down to McDonald's and get you a Lamberger and some French fries. How about a wine kid? <laughs> you little sissy boy! Death Leopard sucks! I want you to come off the racetrack with you feeling like this. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence, and nobody can hang with my stuff. But... So, so what is camber, right? The definition <clears throat> for camber is the angle of the vertical axis of your tire or tire patch in relation to the horizontal plane or track surface or road surface or whatever. I know that's a lot of mumbo jumbo, but really what we're looking at is the angle of the tire. Uh, if the tops of your tire are angled inward towards the chassis, that's negative camber. If the top of the tire is angled outward, that's positive camber. Okay? And we use camber, camber adjustments, so whenever the go-kart gets starts getting lateral load through the turn, right? And, and it's getting lateral forces and building lateral Gs and under load. And the, the chassis starts rolling over and the tire starts distorting, you can get the optimum amount of tire patch on the ground or some professionals say tire footprint. So what, is the tire, what does tire distortion look like and what does the tire look like under load? Check this out.
do you know when you have the proper amount of camber? You know, what are the characteristics of your camber being off, okay? Well, so the tire will make the most grip on the tire patch, most surface grip on the tire patch itself. There is no surface grip on the sidewall, okay? It's slick. And to have weight transfer, you have to have grip. So for the for the, the go-kart to unload the left rear and, and get on the right front and turn, it has to have grip, okay? So with that being said, I got a, I got a visual again for you guys. Again, remember, it's not drawn to scale. Don't burn me on how it's drawn. And it's a little over-exaggerated, but that's so you can understand the concepts behind it, okay? So, up at the top here, we have um, not enough camber in the right front, okay? And what you see here is uh, the tire patch, when the, when the tire gets... When the go-kart gets under load and it starts rolling over on the right front tire, you start touching the outside corner and the outside sidewall. What happens then? The go-kart, the front, the right front tire starts sliding and it puts the left rear in the dirt. And then all of a sudden it starts gripping again and trying to load itself again. And this happens really fast and most of the time microscopically. Uh, so what you end up seeing, the ending result is the go-kart will appear darty, center off, okay? Well, also when that happens, right, what part of the tire is not being loaded? Which is the most important part, which is the inside tire patch. When it starts rolling over on the outside sidewall, the inside tire patch is now become unloaded. And that's where all your grip is, right? So... That's why that is bad. Well, how about the other way? What happens when you put too much right front camber in the go-kart? Well, again, we, we, we've already talked about how the sidewalls have no grip. There's no bite in the sidewall. Well, it sits too much on the inside sidewall of the tire. There's not enough grip because, you again, you have to have grip to have weight transfer. So there's not enough grip to unload the left rear and to make the go-kart roll up on the right front. So what ends up happening is you end up having a push center off, okay? Say what? When you set your camber, what you're really looking for, the ideal situation, is when the tire gets under load, you have the whole tire patch, and you're using the tire patch, okay? So that that is what you would call an ideal situation, that whenever the go-kart goes to load up, it puts the right front, on the ground after the tire starts distorting and it has a grip to move weight off the left rear and we use the whole tire patch. So, <clears throat> one term that you need to become familiar with is camber thrust. What is camber thrust? Well, camber thrust is essentially saying that the tire is gonna roll in the direction it's leaning, right? So, that means that the more negative camber you put in the right front, the more the go-karts are going to want to pull to the left down the straightaway. However, camber thrust is not a strong enough force that whenever the go-kart starts to turn or rotate into the turn, the lateral forces take over and overpower whatever camber thrust you might be feeling, okay? So, I know the million dollar question that you guys want me to answer, right? I know the debate that happens at the racetrack around the porta potty or honey pot, whatever you want to call it. And what you really want to know is, David, if I <clears throat> does the go kart turn more if I add camber, uh, or does it turn more if I take camber out? Does the front end get faster if I take camber out, or does the front end build more bite when I put camber in, right of the right front? And the answer to that question, you ready? It's both. <laughs> okay. All right. And let me explain why. So, let's go back to my board. Might need to zoom in. Is yes, let me erase this here. So, let's take let's draw a bell curve. 
okay? Now, let's say you went to the racetrack and your right front camber was low. And, <clears throat> and you go on the racetrack and the front is twitching, it's getting over on the outside corner of the tire and it's, it's loading and unloading, right? And keep putting the left rear in the turn, right? Or in the dirt. Then when you add camber, the more it will turn because now you're using more of the tire patch and not the sidewall. Well, <clears throat> let's go to the other side. Let's say you went down to the racetrack and you have too much camber in the go-kart and you go out there and the go-kart now wants to pick up a push because it's sitting too much on the inside sidewall. Now, if you go down on camber, the go-kart's going to turn more, okay? So every situation is different, and you have to be able to know what to look for to know what camber to, to put in it. <laughs> so let's say, uh, for example, you... You set your right front camber at a negative two and a half degrees. Y'all go down to the racetrack. Um, the, the camber you say, just for, for example purposes, is adequate, is what you said that is adequate. And, but the track gets a whole lot faster than what you were anticipating. You know, the, the track starts building a whole lot more bite and it's just, it is getting down, right? And you're watching your driver, and it seems like the, the, the go-kart's handling good. You know, he's the go-kart's not twitching, it's not pushing. It's handling good and decent, but it, it just doesn't have any forward drive off the turn. You know, it's kind of off the pace a little bit. The driver comes in, and he's like, yeah, it just gets on the right front real hard. I imagine it feels something like this. So... So then, what does that mean? Well, if you're using too much tire patch, right, and the and the tire is getting on the outside corner of the tire, not enough to get on the sidewall to make it twitch, but it's getting on the outside corner, right, it's going to kill exit speed and make the go-kart kind of look something like this. So what do you do, right? Well, your go-kart <clears throat> doesn't care where the bike comes from, right? It doesn't care if it comes from the tire or the track surface. It doesn't care. It's an inanimate object, right? Inconceivable. So sometimes when the track is biting up a whole, whole lot, you don't need, again, all that tire patch to transfer weight because now the track is supplying a whole lot more grip than what you need, right? And we need grip to have weight transfer, but we have a now too much right front grip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the camber where we're not using the whole tire patch because we don't need it no more, right? Because now the track is supplying the grip that we need to be able to transfer weight. Now, once you add a little bit of camber, let's say you go from two and a half now to two and three quarter, right? Now, all of a sudden, on turn exit, the go-kart looks like this. So let's talk about the left front. So the left front isn't under the same amount of load as the right front is. So when you increase left front camber, it will, it will one, make the go-kart want to turn into the turn better, but it also will increase weight transfer to your right rear. And the effect that you'll see more often, more often than not is the more left front camber you run, the more right rear bite you pick up. Hmm. I know what you're thinking. Dave, all this sounds great and good. And, you know, but how do I know if the go-kart is is loading the tire correctly the right front correctly and how do i know that um that we're using the right amount of tire patch if the go-kart looks fine and the and the driver isn't complaining about anything mm, that's a great question that sounds like our next video so until next time 
I'll see you at the same car speed time, same car speed channel. Okay, I thought it was funny.